Hey everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day. I'm extremely sorry for the delayed upload, since I've been busy on different projects for the past few days. So today in this video we will be learning about how to create amazing lower third animation in After Effects. Let's take a look at what we are going to create. That looks super cool right? Before we begin make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new composition. I will name it as lower third. Width is 1920 and the height is 1080. 25 frames per second. 10 second duration click OK. Take the text tool and change the color and font you want. Type in the name you want I will type in our channel name Gentle PSD. Place it on the top like this. Make sure the anchor point is in the center. Enable 3D option on our text layer. Now take the shape tool here and make a shape like this. Align it in the center. Enable 3D option on this layer too. Press R on your keyboard to bring the rotation effect. Take the time indicator to 20th frame and keyframe the Y rotation like this and change it to minus 90 degree. Place the indicator to 2 second and change the rotation back to zero. Highlight both the keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease it. Go to the graph editor by clicking on this icon. Drag the right side of the anchor to the left side like this, so that our animation will start fast and will slowly settle down. Let's play it and see how it looks. That looks really good. Enable the motion blur by clicking on this box to give more depth to it. Go to the effects and preset panel then type in force. Drag the force motion blur to our text layer like this. As you can see that our motion blur is applied and looking good. That looks great. Now place the indicator at 20th frame and keyframe the Y rotation then change it to 90 degree. Take the indicator to 2 second and change it back to 0 degree. Highlight both keyframes and press F9 to easy ease it. Go to the graph editor and drag the right anchor to the left like this. Now play it. That looks good. You can place the first keyframe a little close to give more variation to the overall animation. Copy the motion blur on our text layer by pressing Ctrl C and paste it to our shape layer by pressing Ctrl V. Minimize it and press U to bring the keyframes. Now take the shape tool again. We don't need any fill. Select the stroke and click OK then change the size to 7 pixel. Now start making a shape like this. Place the anchor point in the center. Enable 3D option on our shape layer like this. Press R to bring the rotation and place the indicator on 20 frame and change it to minus 90 degree. 
take the indicator to 1 second 21 frame, and change the Y rotation back to 0. Highlight both the keyframes and press F9. Go to the graph editor and drag the anchor point to the left like this. Let's play it. That looks really good. Now press Ctrl V to apply the motion blur to our stroke layer. Change the shutter angle to 50. Select the text layer and increase its size. Press S on your keyboard to bring the scale. Increase it like this. Place it little above. I will name this layer as line, and this layer as lower box. Place the indicator at 2 second, and keyframe the position. And take the indicator to 1 second 21 frame and drag the line above like this. Now press S on your keyboard and keyframe the scale at 2 second. Then place it at 1 second 21 frame, and increase its size like this. Highlight all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease it. Go to the graph editor and drag both the anchor point to the left like this. That looks perfect. Now take the shape tool. And make a shape like this. Hold Alt and click on the stroke to disable it. Select the fill, and change the color to white. Align the shape exactly where our line shape is using the arrow button. Place the anchor point in the center. Now in the line layer select both the position and scale effect and press Ctrl C to copy it. Now paste it on our new shape layer by pressing Ctrl V. Press U to bring the keyframes and drag it place it exactly where our line keyframes present. Let's play it. That's perfect. Now select the lower box layer and text layer. Press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Right click on it, and pre-compose it. I will name it as duplicated. Place the duplicated layer above our line layer like this. Double click on the duplicated layer. In the effects and preset panel, type in tint. Drag the tint effect onto our text layer like this. Change the color to yellow. Click OK. Copy the tint effect and paste it on our lower box layer by pressing Ctrl V. Go to the main comp. Press the toggle to bring the matte option. Change the duplicated layer matte to alpha matte. Let's play it. That looks super good. Now take the text tool and type in the name you want. Change the color to black. I will type and subscribe. Take the move tool and align it to the center of our lower box. Decrease its size to fit.
Make sure the anchor point is in the center. Click the arrow of our subscribe layer, and click on the animate arrow like this. Select the tracking effect. In the range selector change the tracking type to after. Place the indicator at 1 second 10 frame. Keyframe the tracking amount, and change it to minus 185. Now place the time indicator at 2 second. And change the tracking amount to 0. Highlight both the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease. Go to Graph Editor and drag the right anchor to the left like this. Again place the indicator at 1 second 10 frame and keyframe the position and drag it to left like this. Take the indicator to 1 second 21st frame and drag the position back to its place. Let's play it, and see how it looks. That looks good. Highlight both position keyframes and easy ease it. You can expand the tracking amount time, by dragging both the keyframes like this. That looks perfect. Now select the lower box layer and copy the motion blur by pressing Ctrl C and paste it on our subscribe layer by pressing Ctrl V. In the effects panel change the shutter angle to 210. It will give more motion blur to it. Let's play it. That looks awesome. Now as you see our subscribe text is visible in the entire video. To hide the subscribe text, take the shape tool, and make a shape like this. I will name this layer as Matt. Change the Matt to Alpha or invert it on our subscribe layer. Now play it. That looks super great. Now our subscribe text is only visible in the center. Shift select both the Matt and subscribe layer and pre-compose it. I will name it as subscribe. Now select all the layers and pre-compose it. I will name it as lower third. Take the indicator, where our animation finish. Press Ctrl Shift E, to split the layer into two. Delete the unwanted layer by pressing backspace. Now press Ctrl D to duplicate. Drag the bottom layer and place it where our above layer ends. Right click on this, and go to time, and select time reverse layer. Let's play it. That looks amazing. We can trim the unwanted time on our timeline. Drag this blue icon to where we want our animation to end. Right click on it, and press trim come to work option. Now our timeline is trimmed to where our animation ends. We finally at the end of our tutorial. But before ending the tutorial I want to show you one more effect that you can add to this animation. Go to the line layer and click on the add icon and select trim paths. 
Place the indicator at the 20th frame and keyframe the start and the trim paths like this. Change the end and start to zero. Place the indicator at 21st frame. And change the start to 100. Easy ease both the keyframes by pressing F9. Go to graph editor and drag the anchor right to left and left to right like this. Let's play it and see the magic. That looks super cool. Go to main comp. That final effect gave lot of depth to our animation. We finally finished creating our lower third animation. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any doubt please feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this tutorial. Until our next tutorial. Stay happy.